Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at just how long it's going to take to do the average playthrough of Starfield. So the numbers have been released by Bethesda. This was spoken about by Todd Howard recently in a sort of presentation for Starfield. And he said it's going to be between 30 and 40 hours for the average playthrough in the game. Now the average playthrough is sort of just the middle ground between those that like to blast through the story mode and for those that like to take the time. Time. So for some people, they're not interested in listening to the dialogue from characters, they're not interested in reading the dialogue or watching the cutscenes, they just like to skip that stuff and move to the next part. Obviously progressing the story helps to progress your character, it might unlock new things for your uh, character's progression, it may unlock new parts of the map, it may unlock new side quests, etc etc. So some people just like to blast through that stuff. Other people like to take the time, they like to get sort of completely enveloped in the lore of the game, they like to listen to all the dialogue, they like to watch all of the cutscenes, they like to learn the whole entire story of the game. Indeed single player campaigns, that is what it's giving you, it is giving you a story to listen to, to watch and then to eventually play through yourself. Me, I'm kind of in the middle ground, it will depend if the game really interests me. I think with Starfield I will probably try and get into it, I like the look of the game, I'm really excited for it coming out, obviously in the previous video that I did I said that you know I've took days off work to play this game, so I'm going to invest in the story a little bit but I tend not to in games I just like to get in and actually play the game recently going through Diablo 4's campaign I just skipped all the way through that I just wanted to get through that so that I could progress my character on in the game which was a bit of a shame because Diablo 4 had some amazing voice acting work in it but yeah, that's kind of how I like to do things. I think with Starfield, I'll try and take my time, but I might end up just blasting through it. We'll have to wait and see. Now, how does that compare to other games? Well, for Skyrim, an average playthrough is 26 hours. For Fallout 4, it's around 27 hours. So the average playthrough of Starfield is already giving you more to get your teeth into. It's going to take a lot longer than those will. But then how long will it take for a completionist to do this game? That is for somebody that likes to complete everything there is to do in the game. That's the whole story campaign that's all of the side quests unlocking all of the locations discovering all of the locations indeed going to the planets in starfield you're going to be able to scan the flora and fauna and the different locations and scanning everything on a planet you will then be able to sell that information for money will one of the completionist things be to scan fully scan every planet in the game that is going to take some time so the average completionist run through i think for skyrim was something like 200 hours i think for fallout 4 it was 150 hours so i can see starfield given the whole scope of the game and that you're going to have a thousand plus planets to go to i'm guessing that it's going to take a little bit longer than what skyrim did but we'll have to wait and see when it comes out there might be a way that you can scan a planet a lot quicker as you progress through the game but yeah 30 to 40 hours for a single player campaign i don't think is too bad at all when you compare it to maybe some of the call of duties that we've had in recent years where they have had a single player campaign in they take just a matter of hours some of them six hours ten hours at the most to just blast through so this is giving you a lot to go at so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this also we recently had the news that uh, amd is going to be the hardware partner for the game so there isn't going to be any nvidia tech in the game to begin with so there's going to be no dlss there's going to be no reflex there's going to be no frame generation there's going to be no rtx it is of course going to have amd's fsr which works with series 10 nvidia cards and above but what do you think about that let me know in the comment section below I'll I'll put a link to that video as well indeed i'll put a link to every starfield video that i've done so far so that you can go and check them out i am going to be following the game very closely all the way up to its launch so if you'd like to drop a subscribe on the channel that would be amazing and follow me for the latest starfield news and as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care